a little tip that I use um, or essentially used once and don't need to worry about again um, it's your default setup so when you open Ableton uh, you'll probably be presented with something similar to this an audio a MIDI channel uh, they'll both be set to the strict volumes and there'll be no effects or anything like that so what if you um, want to start but you want to start and you 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 sort of generally have let's say four audio tracks you don't have a MIDI, tr MIDI track to start with and you say, well, I want them all to be uh, a little bit smaller because I like the, uh, I prefer that size. I like them all to be at minus six decibels because that's where I'm producing. Uh, this one at minus seven, let's say. And various different things that you can set up, effects rack on, on, on everything. You can do essentially everything here. And then you just go up to your preferences, which is under the live menu and see this at the top under file and folder under this at the top save current set as default hit save and all it will do is save that into your default and then every time you start Ableton it will have the same whatever you've set up here the same layout the same plugins everything that you've set uh, and save you doing that over and over again